Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my new video only on your favorite channel PHDMs. Before moving on to the content, let me thank all my subscribers who have subscribed to my channel. And if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and support. So, moving on to the content of the video, what is PhD all about? Is it worth doing PhD? These questions populate among all of us. But in this video, let me show you some of the top and emerging fields if you are planning to take a PhD as your career. Why PhD is so special where there are no lectures, no modules, but still every single day is worth counting like an exam. Every PhD topic is important to build your career. but Based on the survey, we have come to a conclusion and concentrated some of the topics which can be an emerging field to build your career in 2019. So let us explore one by one. In this video, we are also providing you the name of the institution and the link to find the funding source for your PhD. So first comes in the list is PhD in drug design and discovery. Increasing health implication has created huge impact. In order to combat these health issues, designing new strategies is very important. Hence, taking a PhD in drug design will be worth promising. Some of the institutes which provides PhD in drug design and discovery are University of Zurich, and King's College London, University of London. So next comes PhD in Cybersecurity and Information Science. Expansion of Information Science has made world more comfortable with information on your fingertips. But at the same time, monitoring the cyber crime and information is also immense important. Hence, doing PhD in this area will be of great interest. Some of the institute which provide this program are listed here. George Fox University, St. Thomas University, Northeastern University. Also you can find many other university on this link. These links can be found in the description box below. So next comes PhD in Clinical Psychology. Increasing number of depression cases among different age group has resulted in increased intake of medication which may have adverse effect on the health of the individual. Hence, in order to reduce these implications, psychological counseling is very important which can promote the well-being and the personality development of an individual. Next comes PhD in Biomedical Engineering, which combines the principles of engineering with life sciences or biological sciences. This field will help in designing new softwares for pathological system, can help in developing new medical devices, healthcare tools, etc. Here you can find some of the institutes which provides this program. King's College London, Johns Hopkins, Duke University and here you can see some of the scholarship exclusively for biomedical engineering. So number five in the list is PhD in biochemical technology. This involves the role of biological components and their functioning in living organism. This field help in designing new drug molecule and to investigate toxicity study of designed component or molecule. And here are some of the colleges which will provide you to get PhD in this area. University of College London University of York, 
and Manchester University. So next comes PhD in Clinical Pharmacology and Clinical Research. It is a branch of health care which determines the safety and efficacy of the drug before introducing into the market. Here are some of the university which provides this program. University of Liverpool, University of Kent, University of Cambridge, Cambridge University. And also you can find the link to find the funding source to carry out your PhD program. So next comes PhD in mass media communication and journalism. In the current generation, we are more addicted towards mass media which convey or transmit a message to general population through the source of media. Doing PhD in this area is worth promising. Some of the institutes which provides PhD program are Northwestern University School of Communication, Columbia University, the city of New York. Next comes antimicrobial resistance, PhD in drug resistance. It is a situation wherein antibiotics can no longer be effective against targeted pathogenic microorganisms. According to WHO, by the year 2050, antimicrobial resistance will be the leading cause of mortality and morbidity. Here you can see in this slide, every country has been affected with antimicrobial resistance. Hence, working or doing PhD in this area is of immense importance. Some of the universities which provide PhD program are University of Leeds, University of Queensland, University of Manchester. You can also find the funding source to carry out your PhD program. So, doing PhD in biohazard management and bioremediation is worth promising, owing to the fact that it is an important field. In biohazard management, you segregate the harmful agents which can cause infection to other living organisms. It can contaminate your ecosystem. Hence, segregating or planning the strategies to manage these biohazard agents is one of the prime importance. Further, bioremediation. It is a process wherein you utilize biological resources to remediate the environmental pollutants such as pesticides etc. If your biological source is plant then it is phytoremediation. If your biological source is microbes then it can be microbial remediation. Also PhD in agriculture management is very important wherein you implement latest trends such as nanotechnology to improvise the existing standard of agriculture. Some of the universities which are offering these PhD programs are University of Kent, University of Florida. So number 10 in the list is sustainable management of natural resources wherein you are protecting the mother nature for the doing PhD in biodiversity is also an exciting field wherein exploration of different natural habitat natural niches is also an important area of science and most important PhD in marine resources it is one of the untapped resources which can lead to a great discoveries. So some of the institutes which are offering can be cited here. So one of the most important topic which you can take up as your PhD is food safety and security. To meet the demand of global population Working on food safety and security is immense important to provide healthy diet 
to every individual to maintain the proper health of an individual and also to prevent malnutrition. Doing PhD in food safety and security is worth promising. So PhD in translation studies breaking the barrier of languages where you work as a translator after completing your PhD. Some of the institute which provide this program can be found in this slide. So guys, here comes the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe to your favorite channel PhDNs. If you are new to this video, I request you to please hit the subscribe button. See you. Goodbye. Have a wonderful time.